Greetings and welcome to a prayerful pause. I'm Nancy Woodworth Hill and among other things I'm a spiritual director. We're going to explore a technique for dealing with anxiety. This was taught to me by my mentor, the Reverend Dr. Rob Voyle. Anxiety is always about the future. Even if we've had a past event, something that happens when we think um, anxious about it, we're projecting again into the future that that thing will happen. It's about um, something that we are assuming is going to happen that we don't think we have the resources to meet. So there's an imagined demand and we don't have the resources to meet it. So what must we do to feel anxious? Uh, generally, there's four things that lead to anxiety. Uh, something that we see that's outside of us, or maybe that we hear that's outside of us, or it could be something that we visualize that's inside of us, or imagine that we are hearing. I do want to say that not everyone is able to do this exercise. My husband is a perfect example. He does not have the capacity to do the visualization needed. And if you don't, that's okay. So this exercise is devised to resolve physical symptoms of anxiety that diminishes performance. So a certain kind of anxiety. I have used this with both adults and children. So the first step, I'd like you to uh, recall something that gives you anxiety. Don't choose the worst thing ever in your life because we want to be able to practice the technique and then you can work with it later. So the, choose something that uh, is not too bad that brings some anxiety when you think about it. And I'd like you to check the level of this anxiety from one, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the worst. Got it? Just something that you know will give you a measure of anxiety. <clears throat> so now we're moving on to the next step. I'd like you to take, um, and we're going to look at some of the physical aspects of this anxiety, what's going on in your body. So we're going to pay attention in your body. Where does this anxiety begin? Is it in the stomach, in the throat, some other place in your body? And feel it as it travels through your body. Where does it end? like you to, to identify that path and next identify the color what color is this feeling if you don't know that's perfectly fine take a moment close your eyes if you need and just focus on that feeling and what color it brings to mind for you what color it is like now check what direction this is spinning. You know where it comes in your body, you know where it leaves your body, how is it spinning? You can say clockwise or counterclockwise. I've had people tell me it's moving like a figure eight. So just check on that spin and the direction. Um, one other thing does it get worse when it goes faster or slower? So what speed makes it worse, faster or slower? Uh, you'll notice that there is no right for every person answer. This is specific to you and your body. So we want, I think it was four pieces of information where the path that it takes through your body the direction that it spins, the color, and what speed makes it worse. Now let's take a moment to set that aside. Maybe easier said than done, but you can put it aside for now. 
And what we're going to pick up is I want you to think of a time when you are at your most relaxed, peaceful, calm, assured, confident. Think of a time when you are like that. Got it? Now, what color is this? Again, go into your body. What color is are, is that peaceful, relaxed, calm, assured experience of yours? Okay. Now it's time to re-pick up that anxiety feeling. And you're going to do three things with it. First, you're going to change its color. You're going to change it from the anxiety color to the calm, peaceful, relaxed, assured, confident color. You're going to change the direction of spin. You're going to reverse it. So if the spin is going this way, you're going to imagine it going this way. And you're going to change the speed so that it's not in the worst direction, but in the better direction, shall I say. So if going fast made it worse, slow the speed. If going slow made it worse, increase the speed. So take your anxiety, three things. Change the color, reverse the direction, and reverse the speed. Now I'd like you to check your anxiety. Where is it on a scale from one to 10? There's three potential outcomes. One is it's way down, down to a one or a two or maybe even a zero. Another potential is it's come down a little bit, in which case I'd repeat the steps again, just double checking the pathway, the anxiety, the color, the direction, the speed and reversing all of those things. Or three, maybe nothing happened. If nothing happened, like, likely there's another issue involved, which unfortunately I'm not going to get into at this time, and that is the idea of an objection. If any piece of you has an objection to getting rid of this anxiety, that is what needs to be worked with. T to find that objection, uh, maybe question it, maybe understand that uh, some things need to be let go so that you can live with less anxiety in your life. I hope this has been helpful, especially in this time of COVID-19, when so much of the future is unknown, and we may have quite a bit of anxiety about it. Go in peace.